Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add footnotes in Adobe InDesign. Let's go! A footnote is a note that shows up at the bottom of the page where it is referenced, and it's typically referenced by a small superscript number, like this number one right here. Within your text, that's called the reference number, and then that corresponds with the number of your footnote down here. I'm guessing you have seen these before. So to add a footnote, InDesign has a pretty handy tool that helps you automate the whole process because of course it does, it's InDesign. So this is an example of what we're gonna create, but I'm gonna scroll down here to some blank text and I'll show you exactly how I added that and styled it to look good. So first put your cursor in the text box, right in the spot where you want the reference number to appear. And then we're gonna go to type insert footnote. And what that does is it sticks our reference number right here in our text, this superscript one. And then it also added automatically space down here for the actual footnote text. And when you use the footnote tool in InDesign, it will automatically place that at the very bottom of the text box that you're in. And the cool part is it will keep it with the corresponding reference number. It will always keep it in the same text box. So if you change the sizes of your boxes later or the size of your text and it bumps things around, it's always gonna keep the reference number and the footnote together. So now that it's placed in the right spot, we wanna customize the formatting and the style. So to do that, first I'm gonna type some text here. So then I'm gonna to go to type document footnote options. I'm gonna make sure I have preview checked down here in the corner and that will show me all my changes that I'm making live on my document as I make them in this window. So first of all, we're gonna look at the numbering section up here. This lets you choose what type of numbering you wanna use, what number you wanna start at, and then if you wanna restart your numbering, and if so, how often you wanna do that. I'm gonna restart mine on every page. If you want yours to just consecutively number throughout your entire document and never restart, you can just uncheck that box. And then down here for the formatting, you can choose a character style for the actual reference number. So that's the little number that shows up in your actual text. If you wanna set up a style for that, you can. I usually don't. I want that to be the same font as my body font, which it does automatically. I just want it to be superscript. So that's the default right here. And then you also get to choose a paragraph style for your actual footnote. So that's for the text that goes down here where you're actually writing your note. So we're gonna come in here to our paragraph styles and we're gonna click new paragraph style. I'm gonna name this footnote. So the only thing I really wanna change here is the size of the text. So the rest of my body text here is 12 point font. So I want this to be a little bit smaller, maybe 10, maybe even nine and a half. And then I wanna add just a tiny bit of extra spacing since it's smaller text that can just help with readability. So I'll click OK and you'll see that that changed my text down here and now it's applying that paragraph style we just created. And the last thing here is the separator and this is the space between the footnote note and the footnote number. So the symbols in here can be kind of confusing but they're just basically quick little code for different types of spacing in typesetting. So you can add as many different types of spacing as you want here. Usually the default is one tab and that's about what that looks like here in this font. I personally feel like that's too big of a gap. So I will usually erase that and instead select an M space and an N space together. And that usually gives me about a comfortable amount of space right there. So then under the layout tab of this options window is where you're gonna find a lot more spacing options. And this is gonna help customize the look of your footnote text and this small line that appears right above it that's called the rule. And that just separates it from the regular body text of your paragraph. So you can play around with the look of all of these settings. Again, when you have preview checked, it'll show you exactly how it's changing as you make changes here. But to keep things simple, I usually just adjust the minimum space before the first footnote. So typically this will be set to zero on the default. And it kind of depends, our paragraph already ends right here, so it's, nothing is really changing. But typically I like to put it at about a half an inch, just so there's a nice gap here. I'll show you what that would look like if this was shortened up here. Go back to our options window. And if this was set to zero, you can see that it just hugs right up against the rest of this text and is obviously not readable at all. So I wanna make sure there's plenty of space there between the paragraph and the footnote. You can also adjust the space between footnotes if you have more than one. Definitely recommend adding a little bit of extra space there for readability. And then I usually jump down here to the rule or the line. 
The default is typically set to one point weight. Sometimes that feels a little heavy to me and I'll change it to a half point. And then I also pay attention to the offset. So typically this is set to zero as well. And that's how close it is. That's really close. Feels pretty crowded. And so I like to add a little extra space on the offset and that just adds space between the rule and the start of your footnote, giving everything a little bit more breathing room. So then you click okay. And whenever you are ready to add another footnote in your document somewhere, you can just add your cursor right where it goes. Click insert footnote. It will automatically, as you can see, add number two to your list and let you start typing right away. So there you have it. Using the automated footnote tool in InDesign will help you keep your footnote styling consistent throughout your entire document. Plus, like I said before, it'll always keep your numbers in order and it will ensure that your footnote, I spelled footnote wrong. It will ensure that your footnote will always show up on the same page as the reference number that it's connected to. So they will never get separated. It's a match made in footnote heaven, really. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.